The fact that so many great plays and musicals debuted at the Colonial is incredible. Grand Hotel. Party and Bass. Oklahoma. Woman of the Year. We did Follies there, and I did a little night music. Carousal. Carousal. Get on that horse. Horses. And don't ever stop. Yep. Can you believe that all these shows started at the Colonial? Welcome back, Colonial. Everybody deserves a facelift. I was very excited when I heard that the Colonial was going to come back again. I can feel the spirit of other things there. I can feel the dance steps on the ground. It's a pretty astonishing walk into that space. It's a beautiful theater. In the refurbishing, they're holding that beauty. I grew up in Boston, Massachusetts, and I have been going to the Colonial since I was a kid. It's, and it just wasn't a term that I would use back then, it's so extra. My first play on Broadway tried out out of town, and our Boston theater was fortunately the Colonial. My brother was an understudy in the show. We each stole a coat check claim, and we still have them. That was, I thought, extremely glamorous <laughs> and must be some sort of gateway to a whole other life for me. Any show that I had that had enough money in the budget to try out out of town, I insisted on the Colonial. I premiered my show High Fidelity there, hearing the whole score and everybody just singing it out into that room. It was, it was thrilling. So I had a keyboard in a dressing room and I would, I would run between the stage and the dressing room, write something, try to figure something out. And I'll never forget, in Fosse, I leaned against the proscenium stage right, and I sang the song Mr. Bojangles. And I remember feeling the box to the side of me and noticing how close the people were and realizing, like, this is the way to make theater come alive. As a matter of fact, I did do a show at the Colonial Theater, La Cage of Home. I had played Boston a bunch of times in my life, but Colonial was sort of you know, very classy and all that. There is that tradition of taking the photograph on the grand staircase, you know, and, and putting the whole company, and I have that picture hanging on my wall to this day. Anything about Sondheim or Kander and Evan, those guys, it was always New Haven or the Boston Colonial. Boston was a very good town to go to because the audience was sophisticated enough so that you could learn from them. There's this openness and eagerness of the people in a town like Boston. They love being a part of the development of something and the development of an artistic piece. To come back with Moulin Rouge, it's, okay, we get it, the Colonial, you're like making a splash. Opening Moulin Rouge at the Emerson Colonial, we're highlighting an incredible venue. When they build a church, they're promising you a view of heaven. So my Colonial is my church. My Colonial is where I cemented the fact that I was going to be involved in the theater come hell or high water. My Colonial is my adolescence. My Colonial is my history. My Colonial is my beginning. You've been away from me a long time. Welcome home, Colonial. Welcome back. <laughs>